In this video, I'm going to show you how I created this really cool newspaper text effect. So stay tuned. All right, so we're going to start off with a design that is uh, 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels. I want this small because I want to be able to place my letters right in that space and make my letters as large as possible. Um, so that's why I'm starting off with this square design. Now, um, just a uh, message to you all that if you learn anything in this tutorial, please don't forget to press that like button and that subscribe button and turn your notifications on because I have a gift coming out to you in September uh, as a thank you for uh, being loyal and watching my videos. I hope you do truly enjoy them. And don't forget to press that join button because that means you can join me every Tuesday when I go live and you can learn something and interact with me while I'm live. Okay, back to the meats and potatoes. So back to this um, square. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by going to elements and I'm going to place a um, square on my um, desktop, uh, on my workspace. Now, I can click, I can place any type of a square, but I'm going to use a shape because I can adjust the shape any way I like to, um, rather than a graphic, which might have limitations. Okay. And also I have the flexibility of changing the color as well. And I, what I want to do is I want to make the color of this square black. So I'm just going to come up to my color chooser and I'm going to make the color of this square black. And I'm just going to make it a little bit larger because I do want it to take up most of my space on this design. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to text and I'm going to place some text on my workspace. Now you don't have to use this font. You can use any font that you'd like, but I'm going to keep it like really, really simple. And I'm going to use Anton font. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type out um, newspaper and for each letter, I'm going to put it on a separate page. So in here, I'm going to type a capital N and I'm going to make that uh, a lot larger. And I'm going to make it fill up the whole space as much as possible. Anyhow. Okay. Like, like that. And you know what? I might even rotate it like that just to make it fun and newspaper like now my font color is black. Um, now the font color that I have here is white. If it's, if yours is black, you know, make it white because what you want to have is some contrast between the uh, text and your um, background shape. Uh, and, but um, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using black and white. And then when we're close to the end, I'll change the color. So use this color combination and just trust the process. Okay. Um, so that is my first uh, letter. And um, what I'll do is I'm going to make a duplicate of this and I'm going to create a page for each letter in newspaper. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. And I'll be right back. Now I'm just going to open up my thumbnail view just to make sure that I have all the letters that I need. So I've got news and then I got uh, P A and I have a P and an E. So I'm not going to repeat those letters because I know I have them already. Let's go back up to the top. And um, what I'm going to want to do is I'm just going to, I only want enough for the letter. Okay. Now you can make it more chunky if you want, but I'm going to just crop a little bit of that space. Um, and maybe I'll do this one too, like that. Um, all right, let's go back to the N, uh, the E. I just want to make them as big as possible on my workspace and try and keep them in the middle.
All right, let's go back to the end. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some grunge effect. Now, you can add the grunge effect now, or you don't have to add it. You can actually even add some other kind of a pattern if you want. And we'll try that out. Um, now, the reason why is because then when I re-upload it into Canva to remove the background, then that pattern will be see-through as well as the N. So I'm going to come into my elements and I'm going to search for grunge. And I'm going to add some grunge to my uh, workspace. And here it is. Here it is right here. So I'm just going to add that like that. And I'm going to change the grunge to white because I want to see it on around the end on the color of the shape. And if you want that grunge to be more prominent, then what you can do is you can go into edit and you can apply a shadow effect uh, outline and that will make it a lot more uh, prominent. So when I um, do that, and I just change that to white, of course, it'll be a little bit more prominent like that. Okay. Um, so I will leave that like that for now. And I'm going to copy that. And I just want to go back in there and make it less, a little less. So I'm not going to copy that and I'll take it to the S and I'll apply it to the S and I'll apply it to the A and I'll go back to the E or the W and I'm just going to apply the regular one without that outline effect. So I'll just leave that there and I'll make this one white like that and I'll copy that and I'll bring it to the P here. Now for the E, let's search for a different type of pattern. So I'll just come in here and I'll search for pattern just to make it a little bit different, right? Um, so why don't we place this on our workspace like that? And we're going to make this white like that. Okay, I'll take a copy of that. And because we haven't applied anything on the R, I'm going to add it to the R as well. All right, so we're done now. And at this point, we're going to download this design. So I'll go to share, I'll go to download, I'm going to download it as a PNG, and I'm downloading all pages. And that's going to be saved in my downloads folder as a zip file. So I'm now going to have to go to my um, folders. And I'm going to have to extract that file. So here's my file folder, my downloads um, folder, and I'm going to right click and I'm going to extract it. And here's the message to extract it. And I'm just going to say extract all. And here it is. So all of my files, all of those letters are here in my downloads folder. And what I'm going to do is, um, let me put that to the side. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open up another design because I'm finished creating my letters and now I want to create my design. So I'm going to open up a, or create a new design. So I'll go to file. I'm going to say create new design. And I'm going to actually um, use a YouTube thumbnail. Okay. And uh, let me just bring up my file folders and I'm going to grab these downloaded PNG files that we downloaded in the first step. And I'm just going to drag them and place them on my workspace and they will upload into Canva. It might take a little bit of time and you might get some errors, but don't worry. Um, we can always go back into uploads and we can just click to get them uploaded. This happens to me sometimes. Don't worry. Don't panic. OK. All right, perfect. Uh, and what I'll do is because I that one was successful, I'm just going to get rid of these other ones and place this on my workspace and I'm going to crop it. And now I'm going to 
create the word newspaper. So I'm just going to crop this a little bit and I'll place this on my workspace like that. Let me grab the end and again, I'm going to crop this. So I'm going to crop these and I will be right back. All right, now I'm just going to change the color of this background just so that you can see the next step. So I will just change it to a gray. Uh, now you can see that the text is still white, okay? So what we're going to do is we're now going to remove the background. And we'll do the same for all of these letters, one by one. Not sure if you can do them all together. No, that option is not available. Um, but I wonder if we can copy the style. You know, sometimes you just need to um, try different things, right? To see if they work or not. That seems to work. So you know what we'll do is we're going to copy that style and we're going to apply it to all of them. See? Woohoo! Okay, so that seemed to have worked. Hallelujah. Um, and so there is your newspaper effect. but. Hold on, because remember I had said earlier, you know, we could probably change the color. Well, not probably, we can change the color for all these letters. So let's, let's have some fun and let's change the color of these letters. All right, so um, let's go into edit and let's go into duotone. And these are the colors that are available to us. So if we come down here, we can actually change that N to a pink. Um, what can we do here? We could probably change it to a green. Uh, here is the W. Let's change that to a blue. Here is the S. Uh, I want a yellow, but yellow is not available. Why don't we try orange? Oh, hold on. I wanted the S orange. Okay, there we go. Um, what other colors do we have? We have a dark purple there. Let's try a yellow. Now, you'll if you don't find a color that you like here, you know, you can always go up to custom and you can actually find uh, any color, really. So we're going to change that to yellow. I mean, why not, right? And I guess it all depends on, um, you know, what shade of yellow you really want. Um, that is a bright yellow. Maybe we're going to um, scale it down a little bit to something uh, not as... Yeah, okay. As for the P, let's see what we can do with the P. What color haven't we used? Red. We haven't used red, right? Do we have a red? Is this red? I don't think that's red. That looks more like orange, but why don't we customize it and make it more of a red? So let's go here. There we go. That looks like more of a red, doesn't it? Okay, the E, what are we gonna do with the E? Uh, let's make it a blue and the R. Um, why don't we make it a pink like that now obviously you know the e and the r have that same um design in the back so obviously you need to plan ahead um not design on the spur of the moment like i did but uh this is pretty much it and when we change the background color back to white uh, we can see right through those letters. And this is perfect for DTF um, or anywhere where you want the background to show. So this is my newspaper text effect. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any comments, you want to see something else, drop, drop it in the comments below. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn those notifications on, and don't forget to join my membership because 
That way you get to spend a little bit more time with me every Tuesday when I go live and you get to interact with me and ask me questions. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye-bye until next time.